David Essick. Welcome to the 2013 Trusted Choice Big Eye National Championship here at the beautiful Country Club of North Carolina in Pinehurst. This year's tournament brings together 162 of America's finest junior golfers, representing 39 states. But the journey to Pinehurst for these kids began many tournaments ago. These kids are champions. They have qualified locally. They've qualified from 40-some states. These kids are used to winning. Uh, what we want to do here is that we want to challenge them with a terrific venue like this. We want it to be a challenging course. We want it to be a tough course. We want it to set up tough, but we want it to be fair. We want, the, we want them rewarded for conducting themselves properly. We want them to be rewarded for hitting a good shot, for being able to focus on what they're trying to do at that time. So I want them to come here. We're going to treat them professionally. We're going to give them a great golf course that's going to be challenging but fair. And when they walk away from here, they're going to say, that was pretty neat. Um, definitely a challenging course. You have to you hit good shots, you'll get rewarded. But um, you got to hit fairways, got to hit greens. And um, it was definitely fair for everybody. Um, yeah, pretty much, yeah, that was basically it. It was just a really fair, competitive, great golf course. This was not the first time the Trusted Choice Big Eye National Championship had come to North Carolina. We held this event in 2008 here at CCNC. It was the last time we had the National in North Carolina, and I was on that committee. And uh, it was such a great tournament. We enjoyed having the people here, the kids here. So the National Committee asked us if we would be willing to do it again. We were very fortunate, there's no question about it, between the facility here with Jeff Dotson and his staff, um, Allison, uh, not Natalie at the association, uh, Rena, and just the support from the association as well. Um, the, the key players are all intact, so it was nice to have a great foundation already laid for us. And then we were able to just fixate and focus on a couple areas. There really wasn't much to improve upon in the sense of the way the thing was run, it was almost like don't screw it up this time. This tournament came together in large measure due to the planning and guidance of the IIANC Junior Golf Committee. Sure, well there's four co-chairs that are handling this event. We have uh, Eric Stevens from uh, Moore & Johnson in Raleigh. Uh, we have uh, Lehman Clemens from out on the coast of North Carolina. Uh, we have Brian Smith from Greenville, North Carolina at Hooker and Buchanan and myself make up the four co-chairs and uh, the four of us have been involved with the Junior Golf Committee here in North Carolina for a number of years and uh, we were asked to co-host this event and uh, we've spent the last five years working together, building it, putting it together. It started with a meeting once to twice a year and now we're meeting monthly if it's nothing more than a conference call and uh, you don't realize how many details there are most people think you just walk out stick a ball on a tee and, and go play golf but with with this many kids uh, coming from so many different states it's a pretty huge undertaking and uh, it it takes a lot of people to make everything happen and run smoothly and We've been very fortunate to have good people to work with. Tournament participants from all over the country arrived at the Raleigh-Durham International Airport. We'll be probably uh, transporting 90 to 100 people from RDU to Pine, you know, to Pinehurst, and uh, we'll be doing it in 12 passenger minivans. We're going to pick them up. We're going to greet them as they come to baggage claim, and then from there on, we're going to handle the bags. You know, they're going to be treated as first-class citizens. Not going to have to touch anything. We're going to give them some water and Gatorade and some bananas, and get them down to Pinehurst so we can get them registered, and then they can go off and play golf. Tournament organizers worked hard to provide a professional atmosphere for tournament participants. We want them to feel when they leave here that they've been to the next, the, the closest thing to a professional event. I mean, we want them, we want to do everything in a first class manner for them. Um, you know, when they walk in the locker room, they're going to have their names on a locker that's their locker for the week. They're going to have items stocked in there, golf balls, golf towels, hats things like that. We just want to leave an impression where they come in and go, wow, you know, these folks really think a lot of us and this is one of the nicest events I've ever been to. Everything was just so great. Like they just helped out so much. Everything was just amazing. So just a huge, huge thank you to all of them. Local host families were very important to the comfort of the competitors and their families.
A lot of the kids that come in here, um, you know, their families can't afford to put them up in a hotel for a week. So what we do is go out into the community and find uh, families that live in this area that would be willing to host kids in their own house for the week. And so uh, we, we secure that housing for them. And so then when the kids fly into the airport, we pick them up, take them, introduce them to the host family, and then the host family uh, puts them up for the week and, and gets them back and forth to the golf course. So uh, another way that the community reaches out strongly in support of this event. You know, I got a great host family. Uh, they, they were there. Uh, I got here a couple days early, and they were they were fine with that. And um, uh, we had a great week. They, you know, they were they were, uh, they were awesome. Um, had a ton of fun. Got to stay with one of my buddies from Kansas with the host family. So we just had a lot of fun together. And um, you know, overall, it was just a really really fun week, even outside of golf. New technology was used to enhance the tournament experience for the players, their families, and tournament spectators. Um, when everybody comes in and registers, they'll be able to check their, their pairing scores online. Uh, coaches that come in from the major universities to recruit um, and, and view some of these top players in the nation, they'll be able to get information and access to information at their fingertips. And um, also, too, we might be able to run a more, I guess you'd say, safe event um, by being able to notify people that are on the golf course quickly, um, send out notifications to them, but also recognize our sponsors. Uh, we'll be able to do that through that application. As a parent of a player, I uh, feel that your golf app that you've developed this year is top notch and I have never seen a golf app at a golf tournament that was that nice. The 2013 Trusted Choice Big Eye National Championship is one of the most prestigious junior golf events in the country. This event is recognized as an elite uh, event. Um, these these kids are some are going to be some of the greats um, in the game, and you'll see these folks on television one day. And um, this event is recognized um, by the uh, AJGA, which is a, a junior golf association, and um, a lot of colleges look at at that um, points-wise, how many points the kids have earned, and this is a point uh, type event for them. This experience for the kids was about a lot more than golf. Just to see the kids and the smiles on their faces and the fact that we can reach out and touch so many people across the state by giving them a, a venue of golf, which we all think is a, a wonderful game. And it's a game that, you know, you, you always play, you can never master, but, uh, but it's, a, it's also a game that uh, teaches you a lot about life and teaches you a lot about uh, morals and, and ethics and those type things. So. Um, to be able to spend that time with the kids and watch them and see how they grow and see all the wonderful things that they do, uh, that's why I've stayed involved over the years. Jason uh, Jones and uh, just greeted him at the uh, uh, the Raleigh Durham uh, Airport and asked him where he's from and he shared with me that he's from uh, Texarkana, Texas. And a uh, uh, small world that it is, that's the same town that I. Uh, I was born and raised in, and uh, my, my older brother graduated with his father, and his uh, aunt I was good friends with, still am today, and just, uh, he shared a lot of things with me, and it's been a couple years since I've been to Texarkana, but yeah, I feel like I, I've known him forever, but uh, what, a, what a coincidence, the first uh, young man that I had uh, uh, a chance to meet today, he happens to be from my hometown, so that's for sure a small world. This tournament provided new and unique experiences for the kids. I think a lot of times kids, uh, uh, they compete locally. They're certainly familiar with their town, maybe with their state. But to get the experience to go live with the host family, see what they eat for dinner, see that they're just like us, but it's maybe with a little bit different flavoring, uh, to see the kinds of homes and how they're built and what the terrain looks like, uh, just to experience a different environment, uh, that's just good. Uh, to be able to do that. Uh, we all get a little bit comfortable uh, in our own surroundings at home. To be able to go to a separate location like this and experience that, that just makes us better citizens. It certainly makes us appreciate what the country's all about because it takes a lot of different kinds of folks uh, to make this country what it is. Trusted Choice and the game of golf are a natural fit. The affiliation between Trusted Choice and the game of golf, it could be none better. Uh, between um, honor, and you know commitment and calling rules on yourself and um, when you look at what a trusted choice agent has to do on a given basis and what a golfer does when they play in a competition there's a lot of similarity uh, between the two. Tim Dyer, an agent from West Virginia and a member of the National Tournament Planning Committee, 
played in this event as a teenager and remembers what he took away from the experience. Just the camaraderie, just the, the kids, you're wanting there to play, you're wanting to compete, you're wanting to win, obviously, but uh, golf uh, is, is a very, let's say, gentleman's sport or whatever, but you, you, you had a camaraderie, and while you wanted to beat the guy's brains in, at the end of the day, you hung out, you, you had a hamburger, you had a Coke, you watched TV, so that, that's kind of what I remember, just the camaraderie of the deal. It, it's, it's awesome just being able to kind of, you know, play with the same guys every week, and you get to know them well and get to be good friends with them, and... Um, I mean, I think it's kind of special, honestly. Um, you know, these are guys that I'll know for you know the rest of my life, and you know, maybe even become better friends with. And I think that's kind of a cool part of golf. Uh, again, everybody says it when you see events like this put on that you could not do this without the financial commitment from your um, from your key sponsors. I'd like to thank our local sponsors, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Johnson & Johnson, Liberty Mutual, Summit, Travelers, and Westfield. I mean, the sponsorship basically gives us the money to run the whole tournament from players' gifts. It's be able to offer, you know, offer them apparel, balls, also gives them uh, host housing. It also gives them continuously a players' lounge where they can go in there and just be by themselves and have food and Gatorade and bananas. It also gives them uh, locker room service here. It gives them shoe shining. It gives them transportation from the airport you know back and forth it gives them opportunity to have a couple catered meals with with big time speakers like Charlie Reimer from the Golf Channel it gives them it's an opportunity where I mean Without the sponsor dollars, we wouldn't be able to do anything. Thank you to everyone, all the C, uh, CCNC, all the sponsors, everybody, all the volunteers, everybody. It was just amazing, an amazing tournament. More than a badge of honor for the IIABA, Trusted Choice, and independent insurance professionals across the country. More than thousands of hours put in by hundreds of volunteers. More than years of planning by the organizing committee more than the support and commitment of our tournament sponsors, more than a dose of Southern hospitality by our host families, more than the pristine playing conditions here at one of America's finest golfing facilities, more than a world-class tournament filled with riveting golf action, more than a chance for some of America's finest junior golfers to display their talents on a national stage, more than any of these things, the 2013 Trusted Choice Big Eye National Championship was about making memories that will last a lifetime, enjoying experiences that will shape the future for tournament competitors, and forging friendships that will stand the test of time. More than anything else, the 2013 Trusted Choice Big Eye National Championship was all about the kids.